Alright guys, in today's Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this slice effect. It's actually pretty simple and I have a document set up already. Only thing I did so far is create the background and type out the word slice. To create this effect, you want to actually go to your polygonal lasso tool. It is under the lasso tool on the toolbar. What you want to do is click on the tool and then hold it down and it'll show you the other options for that particular tool. Click on polygonal lasso tool. Go to your text and then you want to make a selection. So you want to make the selection of where you want the cut to actually be. I'm going to go ahead and probably do it right here. I'm going to make a triangle shape and it's going to make a selection for me. Once you have your selection, you actually want to make it into a layer mask. You do this by going to this little camera looking icon in your layers panel. You just click. And then it's going to hide whatever you didn't have selected. After you do this, you want to go ahead and duplicate the layer. You do this by hitting Control J on a PC. Or I'm assuming it's Command J on a Mac. Or you can right click in your layers panel by the layer name and go here to duplicate layer. Alright, so obviously this isn't showing the bottom half. What you want to do is go to the layer you just duplicated, click on your layer mask, and then hit Control i It will make an inverse selection. You can't see it very well, but there is actually a slice now. All you have to do is select one of the layers, go to your Move tool, and then just kind of use your keyboard or your mouse and click and drag or just tap the keys and it will actually create that slice for you. Now the only other thing I had here was a shadow to make it more 3D looking. You can use a drop shadow, so you just click, double click beside the name of the layer and you can apply a drop shadow. You wanna apply the drop shadow to the top layer, click drop shadow and it will actually remember the last settings that you had. And now you can see it's a little bit 3D looking. I'm gonna go ahead and space it out a little bit. If you want a more custom shadow, what you wanna do is actually create another layer. You can do this with Control N, I believe, or click the little icon in here that looks like a square with a plus. Make sure this layer is between your two text layers. Go to your brush tool, which is B. Make sure it's on black. And then you want to drag a brush stroke along the cut that you just made. So just click and drag. Don't worry too much if it's not perfect because it's kind of hard to drag an exact line, like straight or diagonal line with your brush tool. Anyways, what you want to do now is create a clipping mask. This is going to keep that brush stroke within the bounds of the layer that you clip it to so that you don't have extra stuff in between the letters or on the edges. In order to create a clipping mask, you want to go over here to your layers panel, hold down Alt in between two layers, and then just click. And see, you can make a custom shadow and then you can adjust the opacity, which you're probably going to want to do. Actually, that's for the brush. It's over here, and you can make it either lighter or darker that way. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped you, and as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I will be sure to reply to you. And if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!